What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Shook, from the Zen Room, and I'm back another week with episode three. This time, it's solo dolo. You getting the vibes from me. Solo dolo. Just me. So y'all vibe with me today. Um, I don't have a special guest. <laughs> but I do have a couple topics that I do want to um, talk about because there's just been some things going on and it's just been heavy on my mind and y'all know I need to get it off. I got to get it off. So a lot of people was hitting me up on my inbox telling me about the whole situation with the esthetician that was having her, I think, I want to say eight or nine year old daughter waxing adult private parts. So basically doing Brazilian waxes on adults. And I'm really baffled about this y'all because I just can't fathom how do you allow your eight or nine year old daughter to wax a grown person or to wax anybody period private parts at that age at such a young age and I mean I can understand that you're trying to like show the role of having um, your child wanting to be an entrepreneur coming in showing her what you do for a living and you know showing her the ropes of maybe becoming her own business owner or anything like that but to wax private parts a Brazilian wax that's far too much I just don't understand so I'm gonna need y'all to give me some feedback on that because it was just crazy. So, you know, I was asking around and was having several conversations with people. And, you know, some people were like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm an entrepreneur myself. And, you know, we were just having different opinions on it or whatever. But me as an entrepreneur, as a businesswoman, as a woman, as an adult, as a mom, as a parent, I just I it's just wrong in so many ways ways on so many different levels is just wrong i can't see anything but wrong with this situation um it's like you're the the the, the mom is wrong for allowing it to happen let's start there then you have the adult that's allowing the child and the esthetician to wax her is crazy to me and then we're gonna go to the level of this lady didn't get outed she posted this on her page and I, I'm believing has been posting this on her page for quite some time um so she obviously has no knowledge of this being wrong like she doesn't feel like it's wrong and that's the issue for me because if you feel like there's nothing wrong with that, then I'm questioning your parenting skills at this point. Because what else do you feel that is not wrong or that is not inappropriate? So I guess someone, you know how social media is, blew it up. Somebody on social media was like, what in the world is going on? And then they called for state board. And I believe after state board, that's when the police got involved, the FBI or whatever, and they started investigating it. And she has been prosecuted, if I'm not mistaken, and was charged and was and went to jail for it. Um, I don't know about prosecution, but alleged, I don't know. But, it's, but I know the allegations were that she um, did get in trouble with law enforcement, um, as she should, rightfully so, because that is just absurd absurd i just i don't understand if you want to show your child how to do something like that or start off with an arm a leg maybe even an underarm or something but the private area that's just too much that's like borderline cp indecent exposure or i don't know i, I just feel like there's so many different things that that can be i wouldn't even want that for my child like I don't I don't know is that and then the child feels comfortable enough to perform this on an adult that's different that's really different so I just I want to I just want y'all feedback on this so make sure y'all hit me up on that because I just I don't I don't think I could for one if I was a client I wouldn't be able to even come in the room and allow a a, a, a child in the room while I'm having these type of services done, let alone yet having a child perform those type of services on myself. That's just crazy to me. Um, so for you to lay on the bed, 
have yourself exposed legs open because you have to have your legs open during certain parts of intimate waxing and she's like going and doing it without any problems is crazy and I do believe they were saying to like not share the um to stop sharing the videos and the footage of it too because that can be um considered as CP as well I'm not really sure if I can say that on social media so that's why I'm using CP and I'm pretty sure you guys know what that means um or where I'm going with it with that but yeah, that was just a little bit crazy, y'all. I'm I'm like modest with it right now, but I really wanted to be like, bitch, is you dumb? Like, come on now, for real. Are you dumb? Cause what what in your right state of mind <laughs> that you gonna bring your child into your place, your place of business and allow your eight to nine year old daughter to wax a grown ass person, a client as that? First of all, it's not even family even if it was family it still would be weird but i'm just saying a stranger just makes it the next level of weirdness so yeah that was just crazy to me so that was my opinion on that because i had a lot of people sending me the articles in my inbox in my dm and stuff and i was gonna go live and speak upon it but i was like you know what i'm gonna use this as a topic on my podcast because i really want to get y'all feedback and want to know how y'all feel about it as well And it also ties into my next topic because, you know, I'm really big on parenting and people parenting skills these days. And I have been coming across a lot of um, different topics and subjects and conversations about parenting skills. And um, some of them was like, you know, a lot of parents don't like to discipline their kids because they were disciplined as a child and they know how they felt when they were disciplined when they were kids so they don't want their kid to feel the same way which is cool you know I understand that um but I always tell people you don't always have to discipline your child physically in order to discipline them (laughs) there's other forms of discipline and um I say that to say As a parent, you have to stand 10 toes. Everybody always talk about, oh, standing 10 toes and standing my ground and this and that and the third, but stand 10 toes when it comes to your kids. You know, mean what you say and say what you mean. You cannot reward bad behavior. So when a child is doing something that they have or fuck up or doing something they have no business doing and you're putting them on a punishment, you can't turn right back around and be like, oh, okay, you can go and to this party or you could, we let's go shopping, let's go get your hair done, let's go get your nails done or let's buy you this, these sneakers. Oh yeah, you could go to the basketball game or yeah, you could go with your team and, and go out to eat and do this or that. You can't, that's rewarding bad behavior. So now the child is thinking like, oh, well, I did this and I was able to still do what I wanted to do. So I'm going to go and do this again because every time I do something, huh, it's just a little punishment. I'm going to hear you yell and scream for the moment, but then I could go right back and then it'd be right back to doing whatever I was doing. You, can, you can't do that. That's not how it operates. Kids are the number one manipulators in the world because that's their only way of communicating is to cry, whine when they're born. They don't, they don't have any other way of communicating. So to when they want their diaper changed, what they do cry when they tired, they cry when they're hungry, they cry because they can't speak. They can't tell you what they want to do. Correct? No. So they have to, that's their form of communicating. And what do we do when they do all those things? Run right to them and cater and say, Oh, we got to feed the baby. Oh, we got to change the diaper. Oh, we got to cuddle them and pat them to sleep and take them to sleep. And we constantly doing this all the time. So now the baby is used to that. Oh, if I cry, this person is going to come and get me every time and yes that's what we're supposed to do but at some point we have to break that and let a baby experience their feelings let them calm themselves down we can't always calm a baby down the baby has to learn how to calm themselves down right so once we do that now they're teaching themselves how to control their emotions y'all might think i'm crazy but this is true now when the child get a little bit older and understand and learning how to use words, you have to make the child use words instead of just pointing, coming to you, you know, your little toddler patting you, pointing at the juice on the counter, 
So you make the baby say juice. Because maybe the baby can't say, can I have juice? It's too much for a little one-year-old, eight months, one-year-old child. So you say juice and you make them say juice. You know, you got to teach them to say juice instead of just pointing all the time to what they want. Now they're using words. Use your words. Use your words. This is what they teach in daycare. This is what they teach in preschool to use your words. Right? So now that's another form of communicating. They're learning to communicate by using words and so forth. And the pattern just increases more and more and more. Y'all know where I'm going with this. So now as kids, young adults, teenagers, you know, we are, we've already set them up and they're knowing what to do and how to do things because they're using their words. Now you have kids these days, <laughs> they telling these parents what to do, how to do it, when to do it. And these parents says, oh, oh, I got to go. Ha, ha, ha. Let me do this. Let me do that. This, then that, that. Parents is becoming more of the kids' friends than they are being the parents. And it's not okay. It is not okay. We have social media raising these kids. We have the streets raising these kids. We have all different type of influencing things in people around the world and raising these kids. And instead of the people in the household who's supposed to be raising the kids, raising the kids. It always starts at home first. It always starts at home first. I tell people that all the time. It starts, I am not the best parent in the world. So do not take me as such. I have flaws. Okay. I have my flaws with parenting. I do. However, I say what I mean and I mean what I say. And my kids are going to respect me. And they're going to fear me. And that's a lot of these kids' problems. They don't have fear. They don't fear God. They don't fear their parents. They don't fear anything. So when a person don't fear nothing, then what? They don't have a care in the world. Because who going to stop them? That's what they think. And who going to stop me? And who going to do it? Who going to check me? That's, that's the news. Who going to check me? No kid should be thinking about that. It should be consequences for every action that a child has, especially at home. You know what I'm saying? Like it has to be, we have to get, we have to tighten up on these kids cause we are losing our youth. We've already, if you ask me, we've already lost them. We've lost them, you know? And I just feel like, you know, we have to start being more parents, being more authoritative with the kids. Like I said, you don't have to beat your kids to discipline them. Just that when they don't do something, you, okay, then whatever you said that their punishment was, you have to ride that out. You cannot give in. Because when you give in, then they 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 taking advantage of that every time. And you don't even have to do it in a mean way. You don't have to be like, oh, I said no, and rah, 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 rah. You don't even have to do all of that. It could be, no, you're not going out. I said what I said, and that's it. And then, boom, that's that. Cause what they gonna do fight you now if they fight you then you got to put hands on them i mean at the end of the day that's when you got to beat a beat a beat a kid up <laughs> we could tussle all day long because I'm, I'm gonna tussle with mine <laughs> i don't know about y'all but the day my step i'm gonna tussle with them i'm gonna let them know i'm big dog around here because you don't want it with me i promise you you don't want it with me i'm big dog and they know but kids have to have fear though. They have to have fear. And if they and they have to have respect and they have to know who they are who they can trust and who they can't trust. Cuz a lot of things a lot of kids don't have that trust either when it comes to their parents too. So they look for other people and other uh, in other places to go to. You know, so you just have to try to have that bond, that open that open communication when it comes to these kids. And comprehension as well. Um, so, you know, I just, I don't know. I, I'm just, I just be feeling my heart just be so pouring when I just see it just, it's just, it get tender when I see these kids out here in these streets and they be so lost at such a young age. It just really bothers me because I'm just like, where are your parents? So the other day I was reading this article. It came up, I believe, either on Charlotte or something like that. And it was like a 16 year old, um, 
got stabbed or something. I'm not sure. It was some teenagers all over the news. And I believe it took place like 5.30 in the morning. And I'm just like, 5.30 in the morning? Where, where are you outside 5.30 in the morning? Unless they were getting ready to go to school, catching the school bus. I can't, I don't know if it was a Sunday, Sunday morning or Monday morning. I'm hoping it was, they were going to school and maybe got into an altercation or something. But if not, I'm just like, why are you outside that time of the night? Like, or that early in the morning, I shall say. So my thing again, there's like, there's no authority around. Nobody is watching out for these kids. These kids really think they're grown. They really think that they're capable of doing whatever they want to do, when they want to do it, how they want to do it. And that's just absurd to me. Like, I don't understand it. The mind is not even fully developed enough to even make the, the type of decision that these kids are out here doing. And these parents are just allowing it and they're giving up. And I just, I don't, don't give up on your kids. I don't care if your kids are 16, 18, 21 years old. Don't give up. I'm 41 and my mom still be on me trying to tell me what to do, how to do and when to do things. I mean, I'll be telling her mom, like, I'm really taking care of you right now. Do you really think you have to tell me what to do or how to do things? Bro, I'm taking care of you. Like the roles have changed, but she's my mom and I'm going to respect her and respect her wishes and respect her opinion and respect what she says because I've always had that form of respect for her. You know what I'm saying? Like I feared my mom more than I feared anything growing up. And I feel like she did an excellent job at raising me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so with that being said, I just need, I just want us to tighten up when it comes to our kids and these, in this world, like for real, we have to tighten up as parents. We need to know where our kids are doing. We need to be checking these phones randomly, the, the internet. We need to know who they talking to. We need to know who they around at all times. Like it's tightened up. And we also need to stop being ashamed and embarrassed about what our kids are doing. Don't be embarrassed. They're kids. They're going to make mistakes and it is okay. Be embarrassed for not asking for help or guidance on how to, 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 to handle a situation when your child is doing something that they probably ain't have no business doing. That's what you should be embarrassed of. Embrace getting help for somebody like, man, my daughter did this shit or my son did this fucked up shit. I, and it's crazy. And I'm, I'm a little low key bears, but I need some help. What do you think I should do? That's the right thing to do. If you feel like you can't figure it out, don't try to hide it and then ignore it. Because when you ignoring it, then that's just giving them more range of doing some more stuff and they're not learning. It's not going to progress. It's just going to get worse. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know y'all, but that's why I'm starting this mentoring program. I'm not going to drag that along because that could be a real touchy subject. And I get real passionate when it comes to that. So make sure y'all hit me up because this mentor program is, 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 is mentoring program for the Zen room for one, but I'm also doing a wax um, boot camp as well. So those of you that want to come out and join that need help with their waxing techniques or um, just overall want to learn how to wax if you're into esthetician field or you just getting out of esthetician school and want to know how to start your business, becoming an esthetician, make sure y'all hit me up. I got you um, more details to follow. I will be launching this mentor program. Um, details will be coming out on my page. I just follow me, these Zen Room, everything. Uh, next week, we will be launching another episode. I will be having another guest. I wanted to fill out how it is to be on a one-to-one -one podcast. So if I look a little nervous or something, you know, it's your girl. It's me. I am because it's my first time doing a single solo podcast. Y'all let me know how I did because I am nervous as hell up here just, <laughs> just to let y'all know. <laughs> Y'all know how I do, but yeah, let me know how I did today. It was a short film, but you know, we got it done. So yeah, see y'all in the next episode of the Zen Room. Love y'all. Talk to y'all later. Everything Zen Room. Make sure y'all go to our YouTube, like, share, subscribe. Because I be seeing y'all watching my stuff, but I don't be seeing no likes. I don't be seeing too many comments either. Hit me up. Like, share, and subscribe. Fuck with your girl. <laughs> Mm-hmm.